Hello everyone, my name is Trooper, and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install and create a Cubicore 5M server. Cubicore, if you guys are not aware, is probably the more updated version of ESX, which I'm sure most of you guys are aware of. It's pretty much the same thing, but a lot more features that come with it, and it's a lot more up-to-date and stable. So it's the sort of thing that I recommend installing over ESX. First thing you guys are going to want to do, like always, is hit the first link down in the description below. That will bring you guys right here to the 5M Build Server Windows Master. All you guys are going to want to do is click this top one right here. And it should automatically start downloading the server files. Once you've done that, open the server files on up. And you should be greeted with a bunch of files and a folder. Now to install these, what we're going to do, we're going to keep our browser open. We're just going to minimize it. And we're going to go to our desktop. And what we're going to do is for me, I'm going to create my 5M server directory on our desktop. If you want to create it somewhere else or in a folder on your desktop, then pretty much just follow the same steps, but just in a different area. But for me, I'm going to right click new folder and I'm going to call this one QBYT, the QB Core YouTube. We're going to open that one up, right click new, another folder, and this one we're going to call server. And inside of here is where we're going to put these files we just downloaded. So control A to select them all and drag and drop them into our server folder. And within a couple of seconds, it should copy and paste over and we can close this server download now. We shouldn't need that much longer. And now we're going to scroll down here until we find this guy right here, the fxserver.exe. And this is what we're going to use to launch our server for the first time. And it'll pretty much set up almost everything for us. So double click that. And within a couple of seconds, it should automatically, it should ask you to allow. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And then it should automatically pop up on your browser with a TX admin console like this. It's going to ask you to link your server with a code and it should automatically fill that in. If it hasn't, you can just go back to the console that it just opened and copy and paste it from there. It should automatically fill it though and hit link account. And then from here, it's going to ask you to sign in to your cfx.re account. So make sure you guys do that. If you haven't got one already, then just click create account, create an account, and then sign in. And once you guys have signed in, all you guys are going to want to do, hit continue. And just like that, we're pretty much done with this step. We can just type in a password as a backup for our server. Hit I have read and create a master account. And from here, it's going to be setting up our server. So hit next, and then this is going to be the server name. Pretty self-explanatory what this is. So we're going to call this one YTQB server. And then hit next. And then from popular recipes, we're going to select this one right here, QB Core Framework. This makes it 10 times easier than ever before. All you guys want to do, select this one, select save, and then go to recipe deployer. From here, it's going to give you a list of all the mods and where they're installing them from. Don't really need to worry about that. Hit next, and from here is going to be our license key. So to install this and to add it in, I'm going to click this little hyperlink right here, the Keymaster hyperlink, and that will take you to Keymaster's 5m.net website. And here you're going to sign in with the exact same cfx.re account we signed into earlier to link with our TX admin. And from here, we're going to go to new server, display name, literally anything you want, QBYT server again. It doesn't have to match, it could literally be anything. And then for our initial server IP address, you're going to want to paste in the IP address of your PC. If you're not sure what that is, very simply open a new tab and type into Google, what's my IP v4 address. Click the first link that comes up, what is my IP address.com. And then copy this guy right here, the IP v4. Control C, go back to our CFX key and paste it in to here, into our initial server IP address. Select a server type, and this is going to be home hosted. And then we're going to just put home. And then I'm not a robot. And then generate yourself a server key. From here, we're going to copy our server key. Go back to our server deployer. And this is where we're going to paste it into. Very simple. Just before we go any further, I did want to tell you guys about my new website, htnetwork.1, where you guys can literally get a fully set up 5M server with tons of custom mods. So custom police vehicles, custom map mods, custom interface scripts. You can get a fully set up 5M server in literally a couple of minutes. 
You do not need to have a server host. You can literally install these on your PC and you can get a fully set up 5M server in literally a couple of minutes. It doesn't take too long. Use the link down in the description below. Go to hdnetwork.one and use the discount code on screen right here. Only one of you guys can use this. It can only be used once. So make sure you guys are quick to using this because once one person uses it, no one can use it again. Use a discount code on screen. You guys can get up to 50% off your next package with hdnetwork.one. You can literally set up a 5M server in minutes and you do not need a server host. It's probably one of the best things I've seen come to the 5M server community in a long, long time. So be sure to check that out down in the description below. And even if you guys don't get that discount code on screen, you can get up to 20% off on the website right now by using the code that will appear on your screen as soon as you load in. So check that out down in the description below. That'd be greatly appreciated. And trust me, you'll be missing out if you don't get it. And the next steps from here is going to be installing a program called XAMP. So hit the next link down in the description below. That ring goes right here to XAMP. We're going to hit download. Download the 64-bit, and within a couple of seconds, it should automatically bring you to a different screen. If it doesn't, just click here, and then download the latest version. Now, XAMP is going to be a database that we use to actually run our server from. Since KubeCore is a little bit more complicated than your standard 5M server, it does need a couple of databases for it to work. But it's quite simple to set up. Literally just download XAMP. Within a couple of seconds, it should be done. Once it is done downloading, all you guys are going to want to do is double-click to open it up. It's basically a simple exe. Screen's gone blank here because it's asking me for admin permissions. Just hit yes. And then within a couple of seconds, you should see a little screen pop up with XAMP saying welcome to XAMP and continue to the setup wizard. So we're going to hit next. And then we're just going to hit next again. And then just select where you want to install it. I'm going to install it in this folder right here because I already have XAMP installed. And for the sake of this video, I'm installing it again. But for you, it should automatically select and create a install folder for XAMP. Just hit next hit next again and then next and then it should start installing and unpacking all of the files for you and it usually takes about four or three minutes or so and i'll cut back to once this is finished and once this is finished installing it should pop up saying the setup has finished and do you want to start the control panel now make sure that's ticked and then hit finish and it should automatically pop up with the x amp control panel all you guys are going to want to do is select this one right here and this one here we're just going to hit start and then we're going to allow, then start again, and then allow. And you should be able to see that both of these have started running successfully. And then from here, now these are running, we can just minimize this into the background and we don't need to worry about that for now. We can go back to our server deployer and we can hit run recipe. Now everything should run perfectly fine. Now if we didn't install XAMP before, in Rome recipe then it wouldn't have actually run because it couldn't have connected to a database to install all of your kubicore files so installing xamp before hitting run recipe is literally the only option so this usually takes a minute or so just wait for this to finish installing everything for you and then once that's done you should be able to see now you can hit next and then this is going to be our server.cfg now our server.cfg is basically the settings for running our 5M server. So here we can change the name. I just tend to delete all these bits here before our actual server name, just because you don't really want them. Just get rid of these just like that. And then you can also change the server description here if you want and the language, etc. And this is where pretty much you can change all your settings and add yourself as admin. And it should automatically link it to your cfx.re account that we logged in earlier. You guys can see that right here. Once you guys have done this, save and run server. And now we are pretty much done with the difficult parts of running a QB core server. And now if we minimize to our desktop, whilst we were doing all of that in the background, it has opened up our server folder. And this time we have a bunch more files and folders that is automatically installed and placed in the right areas for us. You should be able to see that we're going to be greeted inside of this folder right here, the QB core framework dot base folder. And inside of here is going to be our server.cfg that we were just looking at. So you can either edit it from your TX admin console or from here. Really up to you. And this is just a backup of it. So just in case you delete something and something goes wrong, you can just replace that with the backup by just removing the .bkp afterwards. Here's your server logo that you guys can change as well. And then inside of here is going to be your resources. Now, literally every single thing that your server runs off is going to be installed here. So whenever we install custom mods into our 5M server, this is where we'll put it by very simply dragging and dropping the folder into our resources folder. We then go back to this folder right here, the kubicore framework one, where our server.cfg is. We'd open up our server.cfg and then very, very simply 
we'd scroll down here under the latest line of all of the insure list we would type insure and then we'd paste in the name of the folder that we just copied into our resources folder so for example we would copy its name like this and then we had paste it in here and that's the mod successfully installed it's quite simple it's not actually too difficult to install mods onto your 5m server but i will cover that in a later video to come that's kind of like a little brief overview just in case you guys just want to have a go yourself which i do actually recommend if you guys do want to mess around with your server yourself just to make sure you guys get the hang of it it's always good to know what you guys are doing just in case you do need to change some things around but now we've done that we know the pretty much basics of running our kubicore server i'm going to show you one more thing which is going to be in our resources folder and from here if we go into this folder right here which is qb and inside of here it's going to be a bunch more folders which are going to relate to our kubicore now every single one of these is going to be related to a mod it's pretty self-explanatory what they are so this one's going to be our phone mod this one's going to be our police job and for this example i'm going to be using the police job so say if you went inside of here and we wanted to change the amount of vehicles that were spawning in or add a custom vehicle, then all you'd have to do is open up the config.lua and that is where you can change all of the settings to do with that mod. So if you ever wanted to change some settings, you just have to go into the QB subfolder and look for the mod, so the multi-character menu. And then say if you wanted to delete an option, we just open up the config.lua and then we would change what we wanted to change. Hit save, close it. It's pretty simple. But for now... That's pretty much it when it comes to learning the basics of managing a Kubicore server. And we're just going to load in to our server. So to load into our server, what we're going to do is we're going to open up 5M like we usually would to join pretty much any other 5M server. And then once it is finished loading, you should be greeted with a new little option right here saying to connect to the name of your PC on LAN. And that is going to be your server. So just hit that. And you should be able to see here, it should automatically start connecting to your server and downloading all of the requirements. You're going to be greeted with a nice little basic QB core loading screen, which is actually pretty nice and pretty complex for a free and included loading screen. And then if you wait a couple of seconds, it should load you into the game. And once you have loaded into the game, it's going to ask you to create a character. So literally create a character, It's pretty much like setting up a character on any story game. Just select the name, type in the name type in the nationality, type in the gender. Once you've done that and you have selected where you want to spawn, you should be spawned into an apartment. Here you can customize your player model, but for now I'm just going to hit confirm. And then you can walk around your apartment if you want. And this is going to be the apartment you get defaultly set with. And then to leave, literally just walk up to the door. It's quite simple and hit apartment options and leave apartment. And then once you guys have done that, you should be spawned onto the street and you should be able to see you are in your GTA 5 game and you've got a bunch of little different interface scripts in the bottom left here. You've got your speaking level, you've got your armor health, you've got your hunger, you've got your thirst level and also the amount of air you have in your lungs. If you're really unhealthy, usually you are when you first spawn in and when you're running, you tend to see the bar slowly decrease or slowly increase and that means you're probably about to die. So make sure you guys do not actually get too low on that because you usually end up dying. But then from here, if you want, you can hit I, and that gives you a little menu here where you can change a bunch of settings. You can change the status, what it shows you, change your mini map from square to circle, and you can change a bunch of different settings. And also there's a little guide it does give you as well if you wanted to. And if you look on the map here, you should be able to see there's a bunch of little things on the map that have now appeared. You can get a bunch of different jobs. You can go to the police station to get a job. You can go to the garbage area, and you can also go to the Benny's auto shop to customize your car but say if you wanted to get food because you were low on hunger then very very simply you would just go to the nearest store so there's one right here a supermarket you would just set a waypoint drive to the supermarket and then you could buy more food and then to eat the food just hit tab on your keyboard and you should be able to see here it's going to pop up with a little menu and you've already got a phone your driver's license etc in here and then you can just hold it and drag and drop it onto the U section like that. Quite simple. And it's just something you need to know just in case you are hungry. You just go to the store, buy the food, and then drag and drop it into the U section from your inventory. And then from here, I'd recommend that you just running around, sort of getting used to the key bindings. You can always press escape, go to settings, and then actually manually check your key bindings. If you weren't sure of how to do something, you can just go to key binds of 5M and here you can see a bunch of different key bindings and actually look 
at what key they're set to. It's quite a useful thing to know and it's pretty self-explanatory. Now, if you did want to know how to use the admin menu, it's literally just type in T and then slash TX admin and then that'll bring up your TX admin menu there where you can also spawn yourself somewhere, teleport somewhere. You can no clip and you can also ban people and that should have automatically set yourself as admin as long as you guys are logged into the same CFX.re account on 5M. So other than that, that's pretty much the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys did find it useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check out HC Network down in the description below if you guys are looking to set up your next 5M server. Probably the easiest way to set up a 5M server around. And you also do not have to pay for a server. So it's literally the best of both worlds. So be sure to check that out down in the description below. And other than that, I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.